Welcome back to Terrors Never Seen. Hi, everybody. We are going to watch Vibes. I don't know anything about it other than Jeff Goldblum's in it. And I do know I took some head medicine because my eyeballs are trying to make my head do party tricks. So we've turned the lights down a little bit where it's not so in my eyeballs. And we're gonna watch my energy level pick up because it was starting to really get to me there for a bit in the last one, in the Weird Al. We're gonna do the things. We're gonna have fun with this and we're gonna Jeff Goldblum it up with vibes. We're gonna click smash stuff. The like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Come hang out on Patreon for a whole dollar where you can get the better edits and full watch alongs. Sometimes. Sometimes. Come a member, we throw those out. We like to throw out free memberships in the live chats when we do premieres. So come hang out in the live chats for the premieres. You could wind up with one of those suckers all for yourself. Let's do the damn thing. I'm gonna put my ear hole muffs in. My eyeballs are gonna quit hurting my head. My head's gonna quit hurting me. And we're gonna do this. Let's watch it. Let's go. Three, two, one, roll it. <laughs> This opening music is very namaste. Cindy Lauper. I love her. Seriously, love it already. Julian Sams. Okay, I know him from SNL. Peter Falk? Wait, Julian Sands, is he he's in SNL? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Horatio Sands? I don't know. We're gonna die up here. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Shut up! What? No, senor. I don't think you're supposed to do that. No! No! What? You, get back to work. What is it? It's a big rock. I don't know. I bet the old man knew. You shouldn't have shot him. You shut up. You're gonna be cursed. He disappeared. He'd have got snatched up into the spirit world. Pitch this at the only one dollar. The monkey wants to play baseball. Star. Try again. The world will end on Valentine's Day 2016. The end of the world will be on February 14th in the year 2016. Valentine's Day. Bummer. <laughs> I love Ghostbusters. You did it. I also wet my pants. Oh. This is cold, right out of the package, never been used. Here we go. This is from the cafeteria here at the college. Remind me not to eat here. Oh, God. Jesus. Yes. Duh. The woman's, her husband's back eight, nine times. Yes, we know. You know? How could you give that to me? He's reading the energy off of knives. How it is for me to have to see things like that? We have to test you. What a sight is whole. Someone's had sex on this table. Oh. All right, Miss Pickle. Pickle, Dr. Whiny. It's French. Pickle. Dr. Thompson has your envelope, which he sealed last night. Now I'm going to do a drawing. Now, Dr. Thompson opens Miss Pickle's envelope. Dr. Weiner, when did you decide to draw a picture of an elephant? Just a second. She predicted it perfectly. Miss Pickle, you're fabulous. I've been told that before. Then they never call. Wow. Nick and Sylvia. The most impressive psychic talents I've come across in 15 years' research. We've been working together now for a week, and I was wondering if maybe you want to move in with me. I mean, she's shooting her shot. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's just that my psychic guide, Louise, is worried about you. Hillary, something the matter with her? Worse. She's playing bouncy-bouncy with another guy. 
Uh oh. Try to be as delicate as I can. Hillary, no. You don't know Hillary. I do. That's why I'm not worried. For one moment, if she wasn't faithful, I'd be. Gee, I think this jello was bad. Oh, I feel dizzy. Sometimes they don't refrigerate it. <laughs> But if he touches things and he has a girlfriend named Hillary, wouldn't he be able to... When he touches her, wouldn't he figure something out? Adorable. Well, what is it? I'm sorry, there's a guy taking my picture over there. What the hell are you doing? Come back! What's all this about, do you suppose? You're so gifted. Why don't you know already? Somebody's a little butt hurt. Sure, you won't feel my car, but you'll feel okay, his fish. I'm getting mad now. I'm getting mad now. And this is Nick DC, our curator. Nick is a psychometrist. Without your keys or some other personal effect, I will tell you all about yourself. Oh, great. He's treating him like a sideshow freak. What? I swear I'm in big trouble. Just Steve Buscemi? Talk to Louise. I need one winner. How can we be together if I don't have a head? All right. I'll ask Louise. Leave us alone a second. What do you say, Louise? He's in trouble this time. No, he has changed. They always say that. I'm lonely. Give me a chance here. Number four. Got it. Thanks, Louise. Five winners in a row. Wow, Louise, I love you. Yeah, are you ready to go, Fred? Oh, uh, uh -uh. Sylvia, you, you remember Gloria? <laughs> Oh. oh, she's gonna give me a ride home because it's on the way. But uh, it's nice to see you again. No hard feelings, huh? No, no feelings at all. I would have reached my hand in that pocket and took that money back because that was your psychic guide that. Come on, Louise. I'll buy you a drink. That told you the number to win. He used you. Is something wrong, Honey Muffin? Have you been. been what? Bouncing around with other people. Oh, God, it's true. Nick, it's not what you think. Another man has been holding these panties. You know, I can tell. It's... it's my father. What? Ew. Did my laundry for me, I swear. Your father's a professional hockey player who scored two goals that night and an assist. Oh, God, I should have burned those panties. I was lonely. You were gone. I went out with a bunch of girls. I had a bunch of drinks. We met a bunch of guys. You had a I bunch had... of sex. Yeah, she's a whore. A fucking whore. What I did was 100% wrong. Yep. So I think you have two options. You can choose not to forgive me. Get out the door. Or I can rise above this and we can construct a happy and fruitful life together. You are Delulu, girl. Option A, get out of my house. Now who's in her house? Oh, she's packing. Oh good, she, she was. Let's kick ass. All right, Freddy, you're a dead. My name is Harry, Harry Buscafusco. I'm here because I need a psychic and I read your ad in the paper. Ask, why do you keep a shotgun in your apartment? An old boyfriend left it here. Why does he keep it? You don't ask a guy named Mice pick too many questions. I mean, that's true. So now let's get down to brass tacks. Why'd you break into my apartment? Because I was afraid to stand in the hallway carrying what I'm carrying. Yeah? What are you carrying? $50,000. And it's all yours if you do a job for me. You're gonna ask me to do something really weird. Right. It's nothing weird. Sylvia, my son, he's missing. <laughs> Is your son the guy that touched the thing and went poof into the... another realm? Uh-oh. She found him. Sylvia. Yes, hi. She's adorable. I can't always count on Louise. Seem to be the reliable type. We broke up. Louise was right about that, huh? You two should totally be a thing. When I was 12, fell off a ladder. I was in a coma for two weeks. When I came around, there was Louise. That's when I discovered astro projection. Uh-huh. Can you do that? Sure, sometimes I'm really afraid I won't get back. I don't know about you, but I'd feel great finding a missing kid. Look, because I'm taking an immediate sabbatical to Ecuador. All right, stretch. Check him out. Love it. Wait, oh dear. Oh, ah. How lovely. Ah. You must be Nick. Boy, you're big. What a day. You were great. <laughs> I can't breathe. Yeah, we're like 10,000 feet above the sea level. It takes a while to get accustomed to. I like to breathe. I'm good at it. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do. I suddenly just started remembering, like, the music is making me remember the episode of South Park 
where they're at the mall and they're all playing the, was it the pan flutes? And the one, and the two, and the... It was a funny episode. I brought my own food. I'm taking no chances. This is all dehydrated. Look at this. Perfectly mm. safe. All you have to do is add water and you have cheese enchilada ranchera free of microorganisms. Yum, oh, yum. Okay. Listen, tons of No, fun. thank you. It's the water that makes most people sick and you bought food that needs water. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Smart. Let's go. Where? Find Harry Jr. You mean right now? Meanwhile, Harry Jr.'s lost in the mountains with bloodthirsty natives. Why doesn't he just say, as you wish? Maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. As you wish. How y'all gonna have some sheep on top of that bus? Oh, poor things. Oh my God, are we higher? I have to get off that bus and used to go up in the mountains sometimes for days, weeks. Or school report, extra credit. Sure. This is a shirt that he used to wear. Now, Nick, if you would touch this, maybe you could tell us where would he go from here? Definitely the place before. Very strong vibrations. <laughs> that way. Here we go! <laughs> Positive. Whoever wore this shirt went off in that direction. What's wrong? This isn't your son's shirt. Sure it is. No. This shirt's only been worn by one man, an older man, much too old to be your son. Did I say my son? I'm sorry. I'm his son. It's my father that's missing. Harry Senior. I'm going back to New York. Kids! You're gonna have to double the price. Triple it. Something. All right, I lied. I was afraid that if I told you the truth, you'd go off without me. You keep it for yourself. What? What is it you're really looking for? The room of gold. I don't know. One didn't come back, and the other, that's his shirt. This has been to a lost in city. A hotel tomorrow morning, we're off to the hospital. Okay! He's gonna figure out how to get his way about this. He's like, nope, I'm not doing it. Yeah, this guy's up to something. Louise says you're gonna meet your dream lover on this trip. Oh, I bet you're sitting right next to her. Bingo Swedlin. What's he doing here? Nobody's supposed to know why we're here. What if he asks? That is very suspicious. How did that guy get there? Let's dance. It'll give us a chance to think up a story. Let's move it, Stretch. I love her. She's so cute. Who hired that other guy? Hi. Ah, Silvio, look who's here. This is quite a surprise. Mm, is it now? Well, what are you doing here? I can't keep my hands off him. Ditto. Oh. Yep. Well, I guess I'll leave the two of you alone then. Yeah, I think we fooled him completely. Uh oh. There's Alejandro. Have fun. That's what I'm gonna do. Hey, and Alejandro's just not gonna question that she was making out with her brother. Uh oh. Good evening. You're not Latin. No. Are you as good as you look? I'd rather let you decide. Oh. oh, that only got a chill. Well, it's me and not a virus. I am Consuelo. I am Ziggy. Get some. You like? Parts of me are already applauding. Oh my, that's hilarious. <laughs> I have something for she's, you. I have something for yeah, you. Yeah, she's going to try here. to figure out. It's an aphrodisiac. She's gonna find out why you're here. In the police station, in a bag marked PCP. This is angel dust. You've been jibbed. Don't take it so uh -oh. hard. <laughs> you think we're going to let you find it for that pig, Harry? I'm going to kill you. I take it, sex is off. <laughs> Sylvia. Oh my god. Your brother Ziggy attacked me. Are you insane? You attacked the Spanish ambassador to Ecuador? You jerk! I had that guy eating out of my hand. Look! There's still melons! I'm sorry! A woman tried to kill me. <laughs> I'm surprised all women haven't tried to kill you. Yes, and I thought they'd come after you too. Nick, look, he's wounded. Look. Well, that's probably nothing, a mistake. Somebody got boisterous. So what? So you got a little wound. A woman. She's dead. Dead? A woman? Yes. Where? She's easy to spot. She's the one that's dead. 
She got up. The police must have hauled her off. Five minutes, so we'd have heard the police. There'd be one of the shock outlines. You know, Maybe she has got a point. I got it a hotel. Women are soft. <laughs> her gang took her away so that no questions could be asked. That's more likely. Right, so we're discounting the bouncing theory. Completely. A gang that's going to take another shot at me. How about the guy that randomly showed up? You know, there are nice gangs. There was our gang, Alfalfa, Buckwheat. I think Harry's right. You should go to the hospital. Why? Oh, great. First I get stabbed, then I'm bleeding. You've been bleeding this whole time. I loved your last movie. What was that called? Conan the Nurse? Okay, no it's, problem. She's about to smash her face, dude. Visiting hours are over. We can't see him. So why don't we just go up in the mountain, find the gold, get rich, go home. Hi, Bert. Can you talk? Uh, I don't think so. A little. Oh, hey. I don't want any visitors. Just how I want to go. Perfectly safe. Well, goodbye. Well, goodbye, Bert. I'll pick up those magazines you wanted. Can Louise talk to him? Come on, you're making me look bad here. This guy's got to have some marbles left. You can Harry. Harry. He just keeps going catatonic. I found it, Harry. I found it. Where is it, Bert? It's far. Deep in the mountains. Where? Dust. He lies dead. How? How did he die? And where? I want pudding. Me too. They never bring me pudding. All they bring me is ice cream. Talking about pudding. Did you bring back any gold, Mr. Wilder? It would help me find the rest of it. Unbelievable. How could Cary Grant have never won an Oscar? He's thinking randomly. It's like his mind is leaking away. I would slip with your wife. Oh. Estelle or Vivian? Both. Well, you won up on me. Oh. <laughs> Can you put yourself back there? Estelle, please, you're married to Harry. No, no, back to the mountains where you were. Uh -oh. Do so. <laughs> All I know is gold. What are you feeling, Nick? I don't know, but it had nothing to do with gold. I'm going. Back to New York? Into the mountains, where he was. Did it make him... <clears throat> Did it do that to him? Tell me what Mr. Wilder told you. He slept with Harry's wives. Everybody has to know. Yeah. He said he wanted pudding. Your mother doesn't want you to do this. This is pathetic. Your mother's name is Gretchen. She died in a bobsled mishap. She wants you to let us all go. And give us all your money. Shut up. Well, sing now, say, Bayari Kurdanaspur. Mama, undoy your hands, you. Your hands can take mama. She started channeling his mom. <laughs> That's great. Hey, you guys can't play here. We were here first. This is our Peruvian flute band's turf. You got that? Baby girl, why are you wearing shoes like that to walk up a hill and to go hiking? That looks gorgeous. I want to go to there. Oh, look at the little baby cow. This way. He's using it. It's a compass. Louise wants us to go that way. Oh, great. What do we do now? Have a psych off? No, Louise doesn't say the city's that way. She just wants us to go that way. Because she's trying to protect us. From what? Death and horrible agony. Well, we're going to have to look beyond that. <laughs> Come on, we follow Nick. Uh-oh. Oh. He got a handful of booty. And he liked it. And so does she. Nice legs. Thanks. So you've got, uh, you're very... Mm. Your stems are nice, too. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, just say it. I wasn't tired. Ever since that night in the hospital when I touched that poor man, I just feel pulled. Pulled? I'm out on the trail. Sometimes it's not like I'm walking, it's like I'm falling. And I can't stop. I think we're close. Me too. Oh. Nick. Get some. How'd that happen? Just happened. Gonna happen again? When? Uh oh. It's booty time. Booty time, booty time, across the USA. Booty time, booty time. Hey, hey, hey. If there was anything I could ever do for him, 
Uh, I bet there's something she could do for him. It's booty time! Booty time! Yeah, yeah, yeah! What do you mean? Do for me? What, like now? Mm -hmm. I bet she wants to do something for him. Well, you know, the way it's coming out. You're looking for a little action. There's nobody here but me and Harry, and I won. But not by much. Okay. I dream about you and me in a house in Long Island. I'm only half a woman till I make love to you. You happy now? You spoil what's been a depraved and embarrassing evening. No, 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 please, oh. please, not another word. This is just how I want to forget you. <gasps> Screw you! No, For thanks. Real? Oh, my God. What's the matter with her? I wouldn't sleep with her. Really? Sylvia! Oh, great. Pause. Chirp. Uh-oh. Your magic rock is going to tell you that something's going on. Uh oh. Magic rock is a compass. Oh, the magic rock flew away and wants to go back to its home. How are you gonna know where to go? I'm telling you something, he's double crossing us. He's gone off to get it himself. Nick is a totally honorable guy. Despite that, I like him. Where is that talking Frankfurter? It's my guess he fell off that cliff. It's right behind you. You should turn around and look. Hey. Nick, did you? Yes. Found it? I found it. Come on, let's go get it. I'm never going near that place again. You two are feeling a lot of sexual tension as a result of the near miss. <laughs> There's no gold in that city. You're wrong, it's something else. If I'm lying, may God strike me dead. Oh. An Indian taught me how to do that. Underhanded. I'm getting pretty good at it, don't you think? You swine. Oh my god. <laughs> he had big dreams. I still don't understand how that guy wound up there. Remember me? You've been to the lost city. Tell me where it is. No. Trey! Oh! You steal. Thank God I got here in time. I assume he killed Harry. You knew Harry? A long time. Harrison, look out behind you. Oh, that's Carl. Ingo killed Harry. He's about to kill Nick. I told you, one of us must always stay with him. You guys are all in cahoots with one another? Yeah, apparently. So you killed Harry. At the location of the Lost City, which I suspect is somewhere there. So that's how the other guy got there, is because he couldn't find Nick and Sylvia. So he sent the other psychic guy. <laughs> Care to see the Lost City? The presence of something not human. Scaring me to death, move. Louise doesn't like you going that way. She tried to protect you guys. Get away from that. You don't want anything to do with that. Contrary, this is exactly what we want. This can't be Incan. They left no alphabet. It's not Incan. It's older. This is the formula. I'm sure of it. This is the beginning and end of all things. It is the tip of God's arrow falling to earth. No! You got away from her. You were decoding that pyramid. You were speaking in tongues. That time I found out. Uh oh, he's going. Don't be laying hands on stuff. Energy. Tremendous energy. The most concentrated psychic energy source on the planet. Finish reading the pyramid, Sylvia. I give you the finger, sweetie, but I'm too refined. Nice. You're not going to get away with this. Get away with what, cutie? Whatever it is you're trying to get away with. You know, it. What I'm going to try and get away with is to reintroduce some much needed order into the world. But it doesn't concern you. It doesn't. I don't need the competition. Sorry. Please, help me say goodbye to Nick. Worry if you can't bring me back. Oh, is she gonna astral project to him? Is that what she's doing? I don't think we would have found it without you, Nick. This is how you show your appreciation. Where wouldn't you like to be shot? South America. 
<laughs> Sylvia, it's you. Remember uh, in the hospital with Ingo, what you did with him and his mother? You do this a lot? Hi. Burrito. Burrito? Only my papa ever got me burrito. I don't know how it got there, but to get your sister's head out of the toilet or I'll crack your ass the other way. It is the old man. He wants you to let me go. He does. Yes. Inside of you, huh? Yes, yeah. that's right, Perito. Oh, you miserable old bag of shit. I hate your guts. Here's for the pinch. Oh, oh. Here's for what you did to mama. Oh. Surely I had some good qualities. Oh, papa. <laughs> <laughs> teach you to hit your papa for real <laughs> get back in your body sylvia i'm coming to rescue you hi nick let's go harrison yes sylvia. <gasps> the Harry. i told you to kill them we're escaping and pretty flamboyantly i might ask yes. have you handled a machine gun before sure lots of times in high school i was captain of the machine gun of team. course you're very brave well everybody looks brave holding a machine gun go go hurry back <laughs> Uh-oh. Watch out for Carl. Okay, boys. What do you say we just, uh, all make ourselves comfortable? Or I can uh, lie here and bleed to death. The choice is yours. Bye, Nick. Don't. Don't do it. I want you and these other mutants to walk out of here right now. You tell them. Or what? I don't need a formula to draw this energy. You saw what happened to Mr. Wilder. You'll destroy yourself along with the rest of us. That's right. Along with the rest of you. Let me kill him! She touched the butt. Nemo! He touched the butt. Why in the Takai? Oh, Mani Padma. Who is that? She's gonna disintegrate all the bad guys. Oh, suddenly the guy is all scared. Yep, he wanted something and realized he couldn't handle it. Big ol' weenie. Uh-oh, you're gonna get crushed. Sylvia, let's go! Louise, help her! Did Louise do it? Sylvia. How? What happened? There was a the whole thing turned to gold. Louise smiling, saying goodbye. She saved me. Louise is gone. We'd like to check in, please. I'm well, that way. I'm over there. Oh, just give it up. You guys are going to wind up in the same room. I'm getting a very clear image. This is a person who acts as if she has a lot of confidence in herself, but she doesn't. She's gotten involved with a guy who usually isn't her type. Uh, she doesn't want to admit it because she's afraid of getting hurt, but she's fallen in love with this guy. That be you? That's what I'm getting from this glass. Nick, I never touched that glass. Apparently, the waiter is in love with you. Well, I better go talk to him and let him down easy. <laughs> She's lying. Nick, I touched this cup. Yep. See? I knew they were going to end up together. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Your head. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. What is it? Someone here. Louise? No. Oh my god. It's Harry. So she lost Louise. That was like almost like a whoa. I saw the chirping. It was in the poker room. Ah, I knew it was loud. So that was cute. It was more rom-com than it was calm 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 <laughs> yeah it was it was like a cross between um had a very jewel of the nile feel and raiders of the lost ark like an adventure kind of movie yeah it was and not necessarily sci-fi just adventure um 
it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I don't know what I thought it was going to be, but that wasn't it. I'm not disappointed in it. I'm just, like, I, I guess I thought it was going to be a lot funnier. What What's the one with Bronson Pinchot where he's a psychic detective? Out of sight. Is it, were you thinking it was going to be like more like that? Like... Well, I haven't seen that in a gazillion years. Well, I know you've seen it, though. I don't, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen it. Is that him and John Larroquette? Mm -hmm. I think I've remembered the trailer and, like, it, it yeah, it's, a thing. It's, it's it them, it. yeah, it, it's... That's what I was expecting out of it. And honestly, I can't remember if I've ever seen this or not. I'm, I think I did, and I don't remember liking it so much, but I could be wrong. I liked it, but I... You know me, I'm not a huge girly movie person anyway, so... Right. This was a little bit more, they're going to wind up getting together. They're going to do it. It, it. It's the whole, you know what's going to happen with a rom-com. They're going to wind up together. But I, I kind of thought there would be more comedy. I thought there would be more, I don't know. I don't know. It, it had very slow moments. But, I mean, it did have some funny stuff. And, and you know, the woo-woo stuff, I'm all about it. I will, uh, look. Psychics, rocks, astral projection, we'll talk about it. Let's talk about it. it I, I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't this. Well, what, was, uh, do you give it a rating? Uh, like a six, a five? A... I'd say a five. I mean, okay. Jeff Goldblum was very Jeff Goldblum, but I, I, think, I think I expected more Jeff Goldblum. More over the top, Jeff Goldblum. I'll get to watch it in the re-edit, so I'll and, see what I think of it too. Good. You know, Cindy Lauper, she was great. She was cute. She's adorable. I love her. I, I think Steve Buscemi showed up in oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah. Super young. Steve Super Buscemi. young Steve Buscemi for like a second, just one scene. But um, I, I guess. I guess I felt like it would have been more over the top. Probably, I guess, maybe a little more towards Earth Girls Are Easy. Kind of over the top. And a lot less serious. So it wasn't so... It was more of a serious situation they were in than a comedy situation they were in. Right. Even though there was comedy. Right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I don't know how to describe this other than the way I know to describe it. <laughs> Is it Julian Sands that's on SNL? Is that is he on SNL? I know that name from somewhere. And at the beginning, I saw his name, and I was like, "Oh, he's on SNL." I but think I, he was the. But I could he be died wrong. Recently. He was Warlock. Yeah, that's Warlock. So there's a horror movie series called The Warlock, and he or Warlock, and he was it. This guy. Yeah. Okay, then that's not who. Well, I just saw the name, and I was like, "Isn't that the guy?" Most likely he was a bad guy in this, and that's him younger, he was, with long hair. Yeah, he was the bad guy. Um, <laughs> who is the guy on SNL? Is it Horatio? Horatio Sands, S A N S or S A N Z, possibly. Okay, and then I didn't so see you him. Got their names confused. Yeah, so I got their names confused. It is a Z. That's Horatio Sands. Yeah. Okay. And Peter Falk. He's great. He, w he reminded me very much of um, Michael Douglas's character in Romancing the Stone and Jewel of the Nile. He was a little bit shadier, I guess. He was very comical. He was adorable, but he was just a swindler. He was weasel. Um, but yeah, I, I, for some reason, I thought this was going to be a lot funnier. I don't know. I mean, I liked it. it. I liked it. Yeah, I've wanted to see it. I've wanted to see it for a long time. And it's been recommended a, a, a handful of times. Has it? Because I, of your love for Goldblum. I mean, I liked it. Don't don't get it twisted. I liked it. It was just... It's, it's hard for me to show enthusiasm when I'm confused about, wait a minute, this is totally not what I expected. Right. <laughs> so, it, it's... My, br I'm, my brain is trying to play catch up right now because it's just like, okay, I thought it was going to be one thing, but it was a completely different opposite. And it was Jeff Goldblum being Jeff Goldblum. I, I love him. I adore him. 
But at the same time, I'm like, what? Right. What? And once again, I have no clue what I expected other than it being a lot funnier than what it was. Well, the vibe happens. was supposed to be all woo-woo. Okay. Okay. And yeah, they had their woo-woo powers. But I, I guess I, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. Especially going in dark. When and you don't that know is, it's, I mean, it's okay. It's okay for that to happen. But my, I'm, but my meds also did start kicking in about halfway through. And and it's also like, if you feel like I've overhyped something and you go into it and it doesn't stand up to what I've made it feel like for you, you know, talking about it. That's why I do my best not to overhype anything. I just kind of like, let's go and watch it. But yeah, I mean that happens. Well, I mean, and I don't, I don't even know that this, this was hyped up for me. I just I had a different thought in your head. I had a different idea in my head of what it would be. Especially when you hear Jeff Goldblum, Cindy Lauper, and their psychics. Right. Uh, it, that's like, exactly. It's be more I think wacky that's, and over the top, and they're gonna have special powers and all kinds. Right. Of shit. I think that's. I think that's a lot of, of why. Right. All right, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to click smash all the things, the like button, subscribe button, the notification bell. Come over to Patreon for a whole dollar. Become a member. Come hang out in the live chats, all the stuff. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.